In this video, I'm gonna show you a brand new way to capture and create your videos faster than you've ever done before using the latest version of Camtasia. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to click that button so you can be notified when we release brand new content. So like always, when you first get into Camtasia, you're gonna start on the home screen. You can do a new project, open one from a template, but you can also do a new recording. And now you can see there's a little gradient, there's a sparkle, the button's changed, indicating some new magic is under the hood. If you click new recording, you've got your screen recording, your webcam, like always, your microphone, your system audio, all recorded separately. Each one's a separate channel, like always. But now the Camtasia Rev toggle should be turned on. When you're done recording, you'll see why this makes such a difference. I'm gonna bring up something to screen record. In my case, I'll use the Camtasia website. Hit start recording, get myself ready to be on camera. We're just gonna do a quick demo walking through the website so that I can show you. Hit record. It gives me the three second countdown. I'm gonna to talk to my webcam. In this video, I wanna take you through the Camtasia website and show you what's new in Camtasia 2023. Stop recording. And now what comes up is Camtasia Rev. Rather than dropping all the footage on the timeline like normal and letting me have full control of the edit, which I still have, it's gonna give me some display options. We can start with the size. Are you trying to do a widescreen video, a vertical video, a square video? Notice as I'm clicking these, it's automatically changing the format and the layout, moving my camera, moving the screen recording to wherever it thinks is best. For now, we haven't even gotten to the second button. I'm gonna say I want a 16 by nine widescreen video, kind of where we started. Now, if I go over into layout, I'm on this first option here, but if I click through, it's gonna move me and go full screen with the screen recording, maybe a circle picture in picture off to the side, rectangular picture in picture, just by clicking, it's giving me all these different options. I haven't even gotten into the edit yet, and it's going to set everything up the way I like it. So for me, I'm gonna use this picture in picture, bottom right corner, and I'm gonna move on to the background. The background for me is this gradient. We've got kind of a rainbow colored gradient, which is one of the default ones. Maybe you want something darker. Maybe you want something lighter. Go through and find the background gradient that works for you. Maybe you've got brand colors. You know that your channel or your company has a certain set of colors. We can change all that later, but for now, you're gonna pick one that you like that gets you as close to done as possible. So I think I'll move, since we're doing a video about Camtasia, I'll choose green. Moving into effects. We know we've already got background removal on, but I can toggle that off if I want to and go with this. Obviously that doesn't look good, so I'm gonna turn that back on. With just the click of a button, all these changes can get made. You want a border on your content? Put a border. It added a border to me and to the screen recording. Again, you can change it later if you get into the edit and decide you don't like that. I'm gonna turn that off. Corner rounding is on. So you can see just above my head is my recorded cursor. I can't really see it as well as I want to. I wanna draw people's attention to it, so I'm gonna turn on cursor scale. Camtasia takes your recorded cursor and replaces it with a vector one, which means you can scale it up to any size without blurring or pixelating. Maybe add a drop shadow so the cursor stands out. You can add a drop shadow to your screen recording. Make your screen recording reflect at the bottom. This might be more noticeable if I go to a different layout and say, do this so the screen recording's behind me. I'm gonna go to my effects and add that reflection again. And now you can see it kind of looks like it's reflecting off of a desktop background. But I still want background removal on me. And there we go. Now I'm floating a little bit, but I might change that once I get into the editor. Go into filters. This is for my camera. If I wanna add a color LUT, or as we call it in Camtasia, filters, you can choose any one of these down below. Maybe I wanna go black and white. Maybe I want to enhance the contrast. All of these can be reset just by turning them off, turning them back on again. And I had kind of bad lighting on me, so I might go black and white to kind of hide that. So we'll go up here and choose basic black and white. Now, I could be done and I could export it right from here. That's fine. We can preview the video. In this video, I wanna take you through the Camtasia website and show you what's new in Camtasia 2023 but it took me a little while to stop. And like I said, I don't wanna be floating at the bottom right corner. So instead of exporting, I'm gonna hit edit in Camtasia. Now that we're in the Camtasia editor, we can make any changes we want. First of all, I don't like seeing that my clip is so short. I know it's only eight seconds, but I want it to fill the timeline. Pro tip here, click the magnifying glass and it extends everything to fill your timeline. So I said I wanted to move 
my camera to the bottom so that I don't have this gap under my shoulders. And all I have to do is click and drag. And it even snaps to the bottom. Nothing in Camtasia is burnt in when you're in Camtasia Rev. So even though we produced a quality video and it would have been fine to export as is, in the Camtasia editor, we can still make any adjustments, any edits. I can take that black and white filter off by selecting and over here in the properties panel, turning the toggle off. Now it's back to the normal color. Or maybe I wanna choose a different color. I can still go through and make any of those changes. Nothing has been permanently set. If you wanna take that reflection off, you click the screen recording, scroll through the properties, turn the reflection off. Everything is still completely customizable to your heart's content. When you are done, like always, export your video. And that's it, it's really that simple. We're so excited to finally be able to bring this new workflow to you. Get in there, start playing, and have a ball. Camtasia Rev is so much fun and so easy to use. If you've got Camtasia 2023 but don't have automatic updates turned on, now's the time to go and check for your update. If you don't have the latest version of Camtasia, you don't have Camtasia Rev. But there's a link in the description below so that you can go download a free trial or buy right now. Thanks for watching and let us know in the comments below what you think of Camtasia Rev.